Example 3.1. In this example, we consider an invested, incompressible, steady flow along a horizontal streamline from point A to point B in front of the sphere of radius A. The velocity profile along the streamline is given by this equation. We need to determine the pressure variation along the streamline from point A to point B. To start the analysis, we write the relationship between the forces, the mass, and the acceleration along the streamline direction. That is given by minus gamma sine of theta minus dp ds. That is equal to rho v dv ds. Now notice that the equation is given on the streamline direction. However, the problem is given in the x direction. So the first part that we have to do is relate the x direction with the streamline. The x goes in this direction, and that's exactly the same direction for the streamline. Therefore, x and s are equivalent to each other. And we could also say that any derivative with respect to x is the same as any derivative with the streamline direction. Therefore, we could rewrite this equation as minus sine theta minus dp dx. That is equal to rho v dv dx. We also know that because this is a horizontal streamline, the angle theta is equal to 0 degrees. And we could remove this term. Therefore, this becomes dp dx is going to be equal to rho v dv dx. So for us to be able to calculate the pressure derivative, we need to be able to calculate the derivative of the velocity with respect to x. We have the velocity to be equal to v0 plus a to the third x to the third. Therefore, the velocity derivative with respect to x is going to be equal to negative 3 v0 e to the third x to the fourth. Notice that this velocity is done in gradient is done with total derivatives because it's only a function of x. Also notice that it's negative. That means that the velocity is reduced. As we could see, as the location of x is equal to minus a, the velocity is equal to zero. So if we replace these quantities into here, missing a negative over here, sorry. So we write vp dx, and that is equal to negative rho. The velocity profile is v0 plus a cube x to the third. And we add now the velocity gradient. So it's minus 3 v0 a third x to the fourth. At the end, we're going to get that the pressure gradient, which now notice that is only as a function of x, so we could write it in total derivatives, the p dx, negative and negative, that means rho, and then we have uh, v0 plus a to the third, x to the third, 3 v0, a to the third, x to the fourth. Notice that the pressure gradient is positive. That means that the pressure is increasing as the flow moves along the streamline direction. The next step is to be able to get a pressure distribution as a function of x. In order to do that, we're going to use separation of variables. Before we do that, we're going to multiply this out so that the integration process is a bit easier. So we're going to rewrite dp dx, and that is going to give us uh, 3 rho v0 square a to the third x to the fourth plus 3 rho v0 square a to the sixth x to the seventh. Now we're going to do separation of variables. We're basically going to have one variable only on the left side of the equal sign, which is going to be p, and the other variable, which is x, on the right side of the equal sign. So we rewrite dp is equal to 3 rho v0 square. So we write all the terms exactly as we had them before. 
and now we simply multiply it out by dx. We're going to take the integral in both sides and we're going to get the integral of dp is going to be p and the integral of this is going to be equal to rho p0 a cube x to the third minus one half rho p0 square a to the sixth x to the sixth plus a constant now because we have an, a constant through each of the integrals we could add them and constant by constant it gives us just a constant to find that value we applied a boundary condition and the only quantity that we know is that the pressure is equal to zero when x is equal to negative infinity far far away from the sphere by applying these quantities into this equation, we could find out that C is equal to zero. Therefore, the pressure distribution with respect to X is going to be equal to rho P squared A to the third X to the third. This is negative. This is minus one half rho P zero square A sixth X to the sixth. Um, with this equation, you will be able to find any pressure distribute any pressure value along any location in the streamline. Please go back and make sure that you're able to obtain the same equation and understand how the process of separation of variable works and what is the difference between pressure gradient and pressure distribution.